A dramatic day here in Washington on Capitol Hill. Formerly Republican Senator Arlen Specter has announced he is switching parties. He will join the Democrats' caucus with the Democrats. He is now considering himself a Democrat. It was just back in March of 2009, just 41 days ago, when Specter was asked about a tough primary battle that was anticipated in his Senate reelection campaign in 2010. And he said, quote, to eliminate any doubt, I am a Republican and I am running for reelection in 2010 as a Republican. Republican on the Republican ticket. But today, just 41 days later, Senator Specter has issued a written statement formally notifying everybody that he has indeed decided to switch to the Democratic Party, and presumably he will be the Democratic nominee uh, for the U.S. Senate in the 2010 race. We've got team coverage uh, keeping track on this uh, dramatic uh, political development. We've got Chuck Todd at the White House, NBC's Mike Vicar in Capitol Hill, NBC News Washington Bureau Chief Mark Whitaker here in our studios. And Chuck, let's start with you. Uh, reaction from the White House and explain how this cuts politically, how it helps the Democrats, and how it perhaps may not help the Democrats. Well, look, the White House had Arlen Specter's vote on a lot of issues. It was always part of the bipartisan uh, reaching out. So you could actually sit here and say, oh, geez, that's one less Republican at this point that President Obama could regularly count on. But I'll tell you, when it comes to this issue of 60 votes and being able to have some reliable votes and know that they're in your caucus, um, obviously, when Al Franken seated, this does bring it to 60. But there's a bigger story here. David, and that is Arlen Specter is going to be telling a story about how the Republican Party left him. That's what he's going to say, not that he left the Republican Party. And when you look politically at the map in Pennsylvania, at the map in all of the Northeast, at what you're seeing in the Mid-Atlantic, moderate Republicans, they used to be called Rockefeller Republicans, but a lot of these moderate Republicans feel like they can't, they're not being accepted by the rank and file Republican Party. Look, this was a, a straight up survival decision by Arlen Specter. They knew they could not win a Republican primary, could not be done anymore in Pennsylvania. Six years ago, he barely was able to do it. And a lot of those moderate Republicans that were still left six years ago in 2004 have since left the Republican Party. You look at a lot of the suburbs of Philadelphia and it tells that story that used to be reliably Republican. They're now reliably Democrat. All of those congressmen have become Democrats from around there. They're no longer Republicans there. And that's Arlen Specter. And that's the story. And that's the problem that the Republican Party nationally need, now needs to try to explain is how they are able to be a national party if they cannot keep a moderate Republican like Arlen Specter in the fold. It also so uh, so interesting to get the reaction from some of those other uh, moderate Republicans like Susan Collins and Olympia Snow of Maine, who, along with Arlen Specter, joined. Uh, they were the three uh, Republicans who voted with uh, President Obama and the Democrats on the stimulus. Chuck, we're going to uh, let you go, and I want to bring in my uh, colleague here, Contessa Great. Brewer, to help us now uh, through this coverage. Contessa. Yeah, we are just now following the big announcement coming from Pennsylvania Senator Arlen Specter that he is switching his party. He will no longer be a Republican senator uh, on Capitol Hill, but instead will uh, become a Democrat. He says last year more than 200,000 Republicans in Pennsylvania changed their registration to become Democrats and he now finds his political philosophy more in line with Democrats than Republicans. Let me bring in Chris Eliza who uh, writes the fix for the Washington Post. Chris, um, how important is this in terms of the way the Senate conducts its business? Oh, Contessa, it's critically important. Now, uh, just as a quick caveat, remember 60 seats are required uh, to break filibusters in the Senate. And what that essentially means is that if you can get 60 votes, you can cut off debate. It means real control in the Senate. With Senator Specter, you are now looking at 59 Democratic seats. And then there's that one in Minnesota where Al Franken is ahead by 312 votes. Norm Coleman, the Republican, is contesting that. The Minnesota State Supreme Court will hear that appeal, at least the oral argument, starting in June. All eyes will be on Minnesota. Most people believe Al Franken will ultimately be seated. That will give uh, Democrats, rather, that 60 yeah. seat filibuster proof majority. And this is absolutely cataclysmic. Sure. Chris, here in his statement, Arlen Specter says, quote, my change in party affiliation does not mean that I will be a party line voter any more for the Democrats than I have been for the Republicans. Isn't that one of the reasons why there were a lot of Republicans in the in the big party who did not want to see him be the Republican candidate from his district in in Pennsylvania? Absolutely, uh, Contessa. You know, I think uh, Chuck just referenced this. The, the simple fact is, and Arlen Specter in his statement certainly said that he had sort of an, uh, a broader idealistic reason 
reason for leaving the party. But the simple raw political fact is he just could not win a Republican primary against former Congressman Pat Toomey. He came within a few thousand votes of losing in 2004 against Toomey. And with all the registration work that the Obama campaign has done, and they get, get credit for this in Pennsylvania, they re-registered hundreds of thousands of Republicans to the Democratic Party. There just weren't enough Republicans left in Pennsylvania for Arlen Specter to possibly win. Running as an independent, as a third party candidate in a general election was an extremely high bar in terms of qualifying. And so if Arlen Specter wanted to stay in the Senate, and he clearly does want to, he's been there since 1980, he clearly wants to stay on beyond three decades, his best and in some ways only option was to do what he is doing, which is to run as a Democrat. All right, Chris, thanks a lot. By the way, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and some top GOP senators apparently are in a meeting right now. They say they'll have a, a statement after their discussion about how to proceed given the loss of uh, a crucial Republican senator in the Senate. And Savannah Guthrie has just given us an update from the White House that the president this morning during his economic daily briefing was handed a note uh, saying, quote, Specter is announcing he's changing parties. And then at 1030, Savannah reports that the president called Specter and told him, you have my full support and that we are thrilled to have you. We will continue to follow the impact that Specter's announcement has. He is switching from the Republican Party to the Democratic Party. You're watching MSNBC, the place for politics.